All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.6, um, problem number 8. All right, so we're going to use the uh, squeeze theorem to evaluate this uh, following uh, limit at infinity. All right, so as we know, so uh, we're going to start with what we know. Uh, so we, we know that um, uh, sine of x, right, sine of x is always between uh, negative 1 and uh, positive 1, right? Then all you have to do is we, we have to change it to uh, somehow related to uh, 9 sine of x over x. So the first thing I would do is uh, I'm going to multiply by 9. So you have negative 9 is less than or equal to 9 sine of x uh, is less than or equal to uh, 9, right? And then we're going to have to divide by x. So we're going to have to divide by x. So since x is uh, going to positive infinity, so we don't have to worry about uh, x being negative. So I'm going to divide by x. So you have uh, negative 9 over x is less than or equal to 9 sine of x over x is less than or equal to 9 of x, right? So this is a great setup for a uh, uh, squeeze theorem. So we can just uh, look at the limit of this guy and the limit of the biggest guy, and which is actually pretty easy to find. Uh, you can see that the uh, limit of uh, negative 9 over x as x approaches infinity is going to be uh, negative 9 over a really big number. It's going to approach 0. So we know that this guy approaches 0. And then uh, if you take the limit of the biggest guy, which is just a different by sign, so 9 over x, as x approaches infinity, it's going to approach 0 as well. Right? So therefore, by uh, squeeze theorem, uh, the middle guy has to go to 0. So this is by... Uh, squeeze there right so uh, let's uh, type in the answer right so answer is going to be limit is going to be zero all right then the graph is going to be uh, so something is approaching zero um, let's uh, let's see so the these two um, let's see which one should do, should we do this you all right so if you look at this um, obviously third one isn't gonna be it and then how, uh, how about the uh, these guys all right so we want to uh, determine so we know that the, as um, you know a sine of x over x approaches 1 and then times 9 so it's going to be up approaches 9 so y uh, intercept is going to be 9. So which uh, this one is only has a 9 here. And this one has a, actually negative 9. So this wouldn't be it. And then uh, this guy is going to have uh, a, a positive 1. So this is the correct picture. All right. All right. Let's uh, check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got uh, part A correctly and part B correctly. Uh, and actually, there's some more. Uh, I didn't answer this question. How many times does the function cross its asymptote? Right, this guy actually, uh, you know, you can see that the, it can. It's going to cross infinitely many times. So it looks like uh, the function crosses its asymptote an infinite number of times. So this is going to be the answer. All right, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got the last one correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.